Hello friends, welcome to Summer I'm Sad, and for just more content like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So today I'm just going to be talking about percentages. Now percentages are called percents for short. So are you ready to learn about them? Let's go. Now we've heard of percentages a lot because everyone talks about them every single time. So let's begin learning about percents. So a percent is actually just a fraction and this is a really surprising fact for you maybe a percent is a fraction a percent is just a fraction with with 100 as the bottom number let's say let's differentiate between percents and fractions now let's say five now this is the percent form of five five percent i mean five percent that's what i'm talking about the percent form is 500 so actual percent form and then we have also we have a fraction and that has five as the top top number five 36 a random number that's a random number so now you you see that these numbers aren't equal. And let's say you chose a random number for the bottom of a percent, like, you know, 41. But then it wouldn't be a percent anymore because a percent always needs to have 100 here. So let's begin diving more into percents. So first, we need to learn about the what percent the percent symbol. Now the percent symbol is this. Now when you see this after a number, this is a number, hashtag. So this is a number. Now when you see this symbol after a number, it means that number is actually a percent. That means this is just this. So over 100. So we just use that symbol for it. Like let's say 37%. You could write it like this. Now it is 37 over 100. So that's the easy way. Could I show you some examples, please? Well, yes, I could. So let's show them. So I have 24%. 24%. And 24% is 24 out of 100 over 100 39 percent that's 39 out of 100 so 9 over 100 50 percent that's 50 over 100 and now 50 over 100 is just one half that's a special thing we'll learn that in a future video how to do those, so how to do that trick. So we have the 73%, which is 73 out of 100. And then we have 100%, which is 100 out of 100, or one. Now, you could easily see this, that's, what about 0%? Well, 0%, is simply zero out of one hundred, and now that is zero point zero zero. I mean, not that. That's zero. I mean, so that's zero. We'll get to that later uh, in this video. So zero. Next, could we actually have a number like this? One hundred eighty-three percent. Could we have that? Well, yes. It will be just an improper fraction. That's everything. That means its value will be bigger than 1. So let's see if its value is bigger than 1. 183 out of 100. Now that. Now 183 is close to 200. We could round that off. And 100 is just 100. Now that's what 200 is obviously about two times bigger. That means two times bigger. I mean, now 183 is about two times bigger. That means the answer should be greater than one. That means that this is greater than one, which means it's an improper fraction, as we expected. So, 
now let's do this instead so now we'll check some other things that we need to know about decimals decimals is the thing now now you know sometimes let's say a normal fraction fraction normal one let's say three fourths now converting this to a decimal is really hard sometimes Sometimes converting fractions into a decimal is really hard, like this. And 3 fourths is 0 0.5. If you calculate it, I'm just writing in simple terms. I'm not calculating it because I know it. So, but sometimes when we have base 10 fractions, like when a tenths, like tenths, and there's also hundreds hundreds and thousands we have it was really easy to calculate the value of of the value of the answer right yep it was i'm not finding the answers but still it w it would be easy now percents are just this hundreds percents are just hundreds so that means we could actually convert a percent into a decimal number. So let's do that. Let's try that. So we have for some examples, we have some examples, 27%. Now that is 0 0.27, 36%. That's 0 0.36, 44%, well that's 0 0.44, and we have 100%, our classic, now that's 1.00, or 1. Now about 0%, you might ask? Well, 0% is just 0, 0.00, or 0. Yes, this was the thing that I was talking about. This. We need that extra placeholder, remember that. Now, let's do the easy trick. Let's find the easy trick to doing it. So now, here's the easy trick. Now, step one. Let's say a random number, like, like let's say 81%. 81%. Okay, 81%. That's okay. The first thing you should do is to cross out the percent sign, you get 81, you have 81. Next, you imagine where the percent, where the decimal point would be if it was shown. Now, it will be here. Now, you just move that two places, two places away from the one's place, two places away from where it used to be, and done. You're done. You have your number. So now that means that this is 0.81 or 0 0.81. Zero is just placeholder here. Now let's try 100%. 100%. We cross out the symbol. We get the decimal point two places to the right. Yes, this is right. I mean left. Two places to the left and done. 1.00. Or one. Let's do another improper fraction. One hundred twenty-two percent. Cross out that. Get that to two places to the left, and we have one point two two, which is greater than one. So next, let's do zero percent. Zero percent is equal to zero point zero zero. We know that but how do you prove it well cross out the percent there then do this get the point here that placeholder and this placeholder as well you don't actually need that placeholder actually here it's just 0 0.0 0 0.0 0 0.0 0 .0, 0 0 at the same time so now let's try some other fractions let's try some other percents now, the, this percents, these percents are going to be tricky. So, 
these examples are going to be tricky. So, what about 4%? Well, I mean not 4%, I mean 7%. So, 7%. Now, what is that? So, we have cross out that. And get the placeholder here to 0. Now, is it 0 0.7? No, that stands at a 70%, not 7%. So, we need an extra place. 0.7% is the actual answer. 0.07%. Actually, it's not the percent sign because I crossed that out. So, next we have 4%. Now, 4%, same trick, same thing. Okay, so this is 4%. Now that's 0.04. Let's say another example about this. 1%. Now 1% is 0.01. I didn't even write it because I know it. So that was all for this video. And make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And please like this video like all the others. I comment on one of my videos so I get to know you. And please share the videos. And bye-bye. Thanks for watching.